welcome back to D-Lab. This is part two of the Precision S10 amplifier upgrade to a guitar amp. In its previous state is a useless PA amplifier. With my modifications, you'll be able to use this with a guitar and it'll sound glorious. Here we go. All right, so here we go. Time to modify the Precision S10 into a guitar amp, right? Let's make this thing usable. So this tube, the 6EU7, is going away. That will be replaced with a 6AV6 inverter tube. And here, we're going to make another hole for a 12AX7. So let me get things out of the way underneath, and we'll get those sockets installed. So our new tube socket is going to sit approximately where this terminal board is. So I need to unwire all this, move it out of the way. And then we'll punch a three-quarter inch hole for the 12AX7 tube. And you wonder, what about all this stuff? It doesn't matter. It's all coming out because I'm going to rewire per the new schematic. I almost got the tube socket out. I'm just drilling out the pop rivets. This socket is actually going to move over here. And the 6AV6 socket will go here. Well, there's the new tube socket arrangement. We're going to have a 12AX7, 6AV6, and the 6BQ5s. I did not use that original socket that I pulled because the terminals are corroded. So you sure don't want corroded terminals on your preamp tube, do you? The other thing is you'll notice that my 7-pin socket goes in a 3 quarter inch hole. If you can't find one of those sockets, you can actually use the socket for a 12AX7. You just use half of the tube for the inverter, but that tube is much more than a 6AV6. So we are ready for the new wiring. There's my tube sockets, filaments already hooked up, and I landed a new terminal board for the new circuitry. So component wiring is pretty much complete. Now I need to wire the controls. You're going to find that this amp originally came with two 500k pots and one 2 meg pot. So what you want to do is make sure that the 2 meg pot is the volume control which is going to sit right here between the 12AX7 and the 6AV6. The other two pots will be for treble and bass. So the project is going really well on this S10 amplifier. You see our new tube configuration. It is now a 5 tube amp. Okay. Bottom side, it's all completely rewired. And as you can see, is not as busy looking under there as it initially was. I actually pulled out more parts than I put into it. So now, the thing that you've been waiting for is the documentation. Let me cut to the schematic of the new Precision S10 amplifier. If you take a look, it's very basic design. You got the 12AX7 with the Princeton front end tone controls feeding a 6AV6 tube, okay? The 6AV6 is actually like a half of a 12AX7. The beauty of it is, is they're extremely cheap. You can get them for like a buck versus using a 12AX7, which is like $16, okay? Then you feed your 6BQ5s that are running push-pull into that original transformer. The power supply pretty much remained the same, except if you look between the A and B, you'll see the 1K followed by a 10K, which is very similar to what Fender did on their Tweed circuit. So in this schematic, I featured that 6AV6. Remember we talked about using that tube versus the 12AX7. You have to have the 7-pin socket. Okay, so here is an option. I will put this up right now. Same schematic, but instead of using the 6AV6, you would use one half of a 12AX7. And that's what they did in the Fender Princeton. One half was your tremolo circuit, the other half was the inverter going to the output tubes. So that is why I chose the 6AV6, but you can do the same thing with the 12AX7. It's just that tube is a little more costly. We're close to mission complete. The amp is ready to test. New controls are volume, treble, and bass. There's a new tube configuration. Let's see what it sounds like. All right, guys.
guys, I got Matt up here all the way from Indianapolis to play that Precision S10 amp that's been modified to work with a guitar. See what you think. great on that super yeah. full and articulate you know you can find those little pa amps for like a hundred bucks on ebay that are blown up so get yourself one send it to me <laughs> send it to you or drive it up again all right man oh yeah really good yeah really good pretty amazing man oh yeah cool rock thanks. on everybody thanks man well, there you go, another D-Lab secret out there for the public to see. I'm sure now these amps will be flying off the eBay shelves. Anyway, if you would like a copy of the schematic, I have this in a JPEG style. Just email me and I'll send it to you. And if you want to throw D-Lab a couple shillings for my efforts, I'll take that too.